So um, in this example, I'll kind of show you guys at least u. Here we only have one function, fairly basic, right? So we could say that u is equal to 3x plus 2. Differentiate u with respect to x. We have um, du is equal to 3 dx. You guys OK with that? Yes? I just put the du dx, and then I just rewrote it from there. Right? I just, as I mentioned, I'm just going to start skipping that step. All right, so the thing is, though, so if we try to find the integral of this, we have the square root of u, or I could just rewrite this as u to the 1 half power. Probably be a little bit easier. However, we don't really have purely du, do we? Right? We have an extra 3 with that. Wouldn't you guys agree? So we need to counter that 3. We, need to un we basically need to make sure we have like a counter, a correction for that 3. Because here we have an extra 3. So we need to add something that's going to like kind of undo that multiplying by 3. And to undo um, the multiplication, we could divide. So we could multiply by a 1 -third. And that's kind of like what we call like a correction. You're basically undoing. So now, because wouldn't you guys agree, if I divided by 3 here, if I solve for dx, I would have 1 third du, right? Yes? What do you mean by that? So, the problem is square root of 3x squared plus 2 dx, okay. right? So if you were to, so if I look at that, if I replace this u, if I say u is 3x plus 2, and I want to find the integral of u to the 1 half du, well, du is equal to 3 dx. So what I'm, so we have an, like there is no three in this problem. There's no multiply by three here. So for instance, like if I had a three, then I would have everything I needed. I'd have a three dx, and I'd be good to go. I could just do u. But the problem is I don't have a three here. So what happens is there's a couple different ways you could look at it. You can say, well, I'm just going to multiply by one third to get one third du because technically, what is dx? We want to figure out what d. We want to equal what dx equals to. So you could also look at it like this. Just divide by 3. 1 third du is equal to dx. So basically what you're doing is you're substituting in 1 third du in for dx. And that's basically what I'm doing. Does anybody else have any questions on that? Or OK? OK. So obviously I can take out this multiply or this constant. Now I can just integrate this. So I'm going to add 1. So that's going to be 3 halves. Multiply by the reciprocal, Brian, and you get 2 thirds. Good job. u to the 3 halves plus c. Oops, I integrated, so I don't need that anymore. And then we just simplify. 2 ninths, u to the 3 halves, plus c. Now again, is there, could we also just like check, oh, I'm sorry. I've got to plug back in u. Don't forget that. Could we also like just check our answer, though, by taking the derivative to make sure we're correct? right? If we're kind of a little bit fuzzy and you're like, mm, did I actually do that correctly? So why don't we just kind of check our answer? 2 ninths times bring down, um, bring down 3 halves, subtract the 1. So that's 3x plus 2 minus 1, which would be to the 1 half power, and then times the derivative of the inside, which would be times 3. And let's see, we get 6 over 18 times 3, which would be 18 over 18 times 3x plus 2 to the 1 half power. And obviously, this would give you 18 over 18, which would be 1. And then 3x plus 2 to the 1 half power would be the square root. Yes? The what? Two thirds. Two thirds. I remember it's, it's 1 over. 3 halves, so I just multiply by the reciprocal. Anybody have any other questions on that? Yes? How do you know like, which order to put it all in? What do you mean? Like, how do you know like, it should be used to one half? Like, I just rewrote, I mean, I just rewrote the square root. I just saw a function. I see a composite function. I see a function, 
inside of another function. I see 3x plus 2 is inside of the square root function. So I rewrote it so you can rewrite it thinking of it as like u to the 1 half power, right? Square root. Or you could do square root of u if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter. Square root of u is the same thing as u to the 1 half power. Yes? But how do you know to use that one, not like 3x plus 2? So what do you mean use 3x plus 2? Like why would you just use u to the 1 half? Because you remember we're looking for, if you think about like what we're doing is we're trying to un like we're trying to unpack, or we're trying to we're trying to pack back up what has happened for differentiation, and basically what we're doing is we're trying to identify what function is inside of the other function. There's only two functions here. You have a square root function and a linear function, three x plus two. So wouldn't you agree? Like this is the same thing as the square root of u. Right, if u is equal to 3x plus 2, right? But then we obviously have to have it in within the same form of du. And so therefore we say, all right, well, if u is equal to this, if I re reciprocate that, then du is equal to 3dx. Well, we don't have a 3 and a dx. We have a dx, but we don't have a 3. So therefore, that's why I added that 1 third into there to make sure everything was going to be the same. And don't worry, I have four pages worth of examples to keep on practicing with this. So.